I think what contributed a lot, if I might say so, to the success of Child 44 is the very, very realistic feeling of, of panic or, or fear or anxiety in the Soviet society that always uh, made me think, how were you able to capture that feeling and to uh, transfer it uh, to writing? This looks like, like somebody who was living in those days wrote the, that book. Well, the one thing that I've always loved about uh, fiction and non-fiction, writing in general, is its ability to transport you to other worlds. And when you read it, you feel absolutely the same or something very similar to the feelings as if you were living there. And I believe that very strongly in terms of my love of books and my love of fiction. And when I was reading the non-fiction, the histories, the ones that really interested me were the ones filled with outrage at this society, and the and the and and, and the biographies and the the autobiographies and the, the the documents about the troubles that people experience. When I read them, I didn't feel like they were many many years in the past. I felt like you know, even though I was living in London, it was I felt the fears in me very strongly, and it was about trying to take, not concentrate on just the historical particulars in terms of what a building looks like or you know what people wore or, but really about the emotions and I think if you concentrate on emotions and you said mentioned fear then I think that's the way in and that was certainly my approach anyway. You received some emails and, and requests to boycott this uh, festival and you decided to come anyway so can you please tell us what, what are the reasons that you decided not to abide to the request? I'd published three books here they've been a success I'd celebrated on, on my website already. I boasted about it to people. I've been like, it's really wonderful. They've done really well. So this just seemed to come out of the blue. It didn't, it didn't seem to make any sense to me. I was, I'd already asked people on my Facebook, my readers, to come to this event. So just on a fundamental level, it struck me as, uh, you know, to turn it down, struck me as incomprehensible, um, irrelevant to the greater political system and rude fundamentally. So to me, I was like, this is, well, I love, I love coming and meeting people and just instinctively it felt wrong and on every level to, to, to say no. So it was never a question and I, it was just never a question of accepting. Right